stack of blocks in that little miniature log, I guess. I'd call it a stick in real life, but I'm not as little as the people in the gatekeeper. They'd probably call that a log. Today we're going to take a look at the Eleva Enduro Gatekeeper. This will be its first time I've really run it. I've played around with it a little bit in the backyard. And uh, let's just take a close look, up at, look at it before we take it out there. Okay, the Eleva Gatekeeper. Um, as you can tell, we've already took, we took all the stickers off of it. I just didn't like the way it looked with all the stickers on it. I thought it looked gawky. The only thing we've done to it is put the big head sticker on it, which gives it that 60-40 weight difference. No, I'm just joking. The only thing we've really done to it, we put the shock links on it. Trill shock links. I think they're like 60, 65 grams or something like that a piece. That's the only thing we've done to it. If you notice uh, a lot of the element when you hear Enduro, the chassis are basically the same. The only difference I see here is the trailing arms in the back and the molded cage the molded cage is the real reason we went ahead and put weight on this truck because uh this molded cage is heavier a lot heavier than the body you would see on the Sendero hd so um, that's about the only thing we've done we went through it uh checked everything out we checked and put gr checked the grease out in the diffs they was good Check the grease out in the trans. It was good. Went ahead and put the XT90 on it because on it, that's just what I run. So uh, we're just going to take it out here. Basically, it's stock except for the trill weights. One other thing I did forget. We took the fuel cell off the back of it. It's just empty. There's nothing in there. There's no. I thought there's no reason to have it in there except for looks, but it might help if you take it off because that is carrying some weight that you actually do not need i think there's enough cross members in the chassis and everything where you know it's it's mainly just for looks it does not do nothing in the toughness and strength of the truck so let's get out there and see what this thing will do it's about 80 degrees out here today we're just going to take it out here to the little big head crawling course and just run it through our paces we will be taking it down to Glendale here in a couple days and give it the normal Glendale test in there. Uh, we've done some work out here since the last time y'all saw it. So, uh, the first thing we hit, this does have the 11% overdrive that comes in the kit, I mean in the RCR. So, the first thing we hit is the stairs, which uh, I think the only RPR that's actually made this is the Sendero HD stock. In other words, I don't want to make it stock. But Seems like the seems like the mesh is kind of tight. Huh? Not a good day. Let me see if I can get behind, get behind it, maybe. Still too top heavy. So let's just take it over here. I don't even know why I'm trying this climb because if it won't make that climb. We need to put some uh, brass knuckles on it. As you see, your wheelbase is sitting right in the holes. 
just like that. Yeah. So as long as we get the bullshit. And the truck is still acting real heavy on top. I'll give it another try. The truck's very responsive though. I mean, there's no delay in it. I really love stock remotes that come with these. Still too top heavy. Well, we give it the staircase. You know what the we got the little staircase here. Oh, uh, it made the staircase. Go up this. This is new here. This is just added the, <coughs> the other day. There's no telling what's going, what's going to happen here. Wow. We will go backwards the other way. I made that one no problem. See the overdrive is, is really working here. It's really helping it. And I think it's just awesome to be able to get that factory in the kit. We still got a little, some work to do here though. that up because uh, I don't want to break an axle. It was sitting right in that little hole. Like I said this is the first this is the first time we went this way. First time we went the other way too, but first time we went this way. I had to bring those screws in a little bit more. There we go. Oh yeah we're gonna have to bring the screws in a little bit more on that on that bottom board right here. I have to bring those screws in a little bit to bring it up. Okay, we went and got the handy dandy screwdriver and tightened it. Some bolts up a little bit, so maybe close that gap. Maybe we can test the gatekeeper on this. It's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but we haven't ran the gatekeeper up this yet. But right here is another obstacle. You see your wheelbase hits two obstacles at the same time. It hits that little stack of blocks and that little miniature log, I guess. I'd call it a stick in real life, but I'm not as little as the people in the gatekeeper. They'd probably call that a log. Done good there. Great job. Let's see how the gatekeeper acts right here. Awesome. Done awesome there. This is a new pile here we're working on. Top heavy. Let's go try this new little part right here. This is just pretty in the day. I don't know how good. Oh, yeah. 
got a lot of plans out here. It's just going to take some time to get it all done. Oh. Oh, now she's starting to act right. Almost act right. All right, I'm going to turn the throttle down a little bit. Be. Turn the throttle down a little bit. Try the uh, try the stairs again. I don't think it's going to happen today. I don't think it's going to happen today. Seriously, thinking the pin spring mod, with how much it's bumped. I guess it's gonna be it for uh us and the gatekeeper today. We're gonna take it back to the house. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like an alpha noise. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more.